Hello, and welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, back to Dwarf Romantic. I have a few minutes here, so I'm probably going to end up cutting up this episode. Uh, but I want to get another game in at this awesome, like, tile length, magnificence. Obviously, we lost in the last one trying to, to complete some of these major uh, missions, just trying to see what we could do. But I'm totally down to play another time, main mode. Uh, if you're unfamiliar, this is just a tile laying game. And one sec, I've uh, recently changed. There we go. All right, so we're back in. So this is just a super relaxed tile laying game where you just take a tile, you lay it on the ground, and they will give you missions that if you complete, uh, will give you more tiles. So you're just trying to basically survive as long as you can. The big addition to that is that um, you're also trying to lay perfect tiles. You get points every time a tile is perfectly lined up, field and field, forest and forest, city and city, um, which is just a fantastic. But if you get literally every tile perfectly surrounded, which is what we're working on now uh, with a couple of these, you actually get a free bonus tile, which is, is very substantial in this game because a lot of those plus one tiles will actually end up with you getting uh, way more tiles over the course of the game, which just means that you're going to survive that much longer. And here we are getting tons and tons of tiles early, coming out to a great start. We don't have a house to go against this bad boy, so let's go ahead and do this, and that'll open up... Eh, I'm... I'm cautious about putting a, a requirement to get a field going into the middle so let's just do that for now I'm not sure where I want my river to be I don't really want to interfere with my city too much but that's like really the only choices unless we want to put it parallel with the rail so let's do that for now we need to have a massive forest so we've left a lot of positions open for that to, to grow naturally this needs to get up to quite a few fields see this is again where I'm like I, I don't want to lock myself into having particular requirements like the next rail I need to put down now needs to have a home on one side and a field on the other uh, I could put this here but then things aren't perfect it's it's got to be perfect it's got to be perfect so let's let's do that and we'll, we'll keep our eye out for rail that uh, that makes this work and what we'll do is, uh, see, if I could put this in like this, it'd be great. But I don't want this uh, to get stuck, basically, this uh, requirement for a rail. So what if, well, it's really the only place I have enough field at. So this allows me, if I had a house on this side, it would have been good. Uh, so for now, we'll just build our rail out this way, so that shouldn't interfere with too many things. They both need to just have lots of rail. Um, a house with some forest. The house is on the wrong side, so it doesn't quite fit there. Uh, this would fit well, though. Field, field. It does mean we need a home in here. But hey. So far, so good. And we are going to be looking to come back and backfill some of this later. I don't know how we're going to grow this field area unless I get um, some better cards for it. Uh, and then this water is going to be tricky. This might be a, an opportunity to go and, and just start in a new area. I'm afraid that this is going to, to be very difficult requirements for us to, to meet. Um, and this, I want to leave this potential for connecting the rail as open-ended as possible. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, the water's also tricky because it has so many trees attached to it. I think we just put it all the way over here for now. And we'll just keep our eyes open for that tile that can fit in there. Uh, this forest is a little bit tricky as well. Actually, no, it's not so bad. Oh, no, yeah, it has a field on either end. So I put it in like this. Nice field. See, we got a perfect back there. It might not have been our first perfect, but it was the first one I was paying attention to. Um, and we don't have a water mission on either of these. So let's just go ahead and build our forest. Oh, nice in a way. 
this actually does work right now, except we're going to have to keep our eyes open for a water tile that fits. But so far, so good. Lots of field. Uh, a blank slate with lots of field. I think this has to go in here. It's just going to make this, this uh, rail a little bit trickier in the future. But for now, that's good. How do we feel about this? Um, that's how it's going to have to fit it, if, if, if it is going to fit like that. Uh, we don't have any city on this tile, so let's go ahead and just give ourselves lots of river options. Oh, we just unlocked the tower. I will claim that. So basically, as you do well in this game, you unlock um, new aesthetics. So these different colored fields, um, randomly like trains and steamboats to go on your water. And it just makes your world that much prettier, which is uh, very nice. I hate building up against this water, but... Again, this, this tile fits too perfect, so you kind of have to go with what you can get. Um, yeah, we're going to be sorely lacking a, a water tile for that. But for now, we'll keep expanding. I like the fields, but they always seem to have trees. Um, and this does not fit as well as I'd like it to, so let's just go ahead... Does have double tree? Yeah, let's just go ahead like this. Um, lots of lots of field, like empty. Sorry, empty planes to go with it, which isn't so bad. This one's tricky because how do you get it out as well? Empty field, empty field. Like this works, but it's making this train harder and harder and harder to eventually fit in. This isn't this isn't it, fam. If you see this, this I can fit one forest, but I need two forest. Uh, this forest is on the wrong side over here to fit nicely in there. If I instead turn to focusing on the houses, it doesn't quite work either. I think I'm just gonna end that forest and make this tile the hard one to fit. For now. Hmm. Yeah. This is fine. I just, again, I'm, I'm kind of putting myself in a corner, making things very difficult. This water will help us come out, though. So that's good. This doesn't quite fit in there, and it won't fit in here either. And are those the only fields? No, I have a field over here I can work with. Okay, well, that's fine for now. This is the edge of a forest. So we can just connect it to our main forest, but that might hurt our ability to grow in the future. So maybe this spot here keeps a lot of this forest adjacency for those massive forests. Like if I have a, a four-sided one, I can still go there. Um, this bad boy, that does fit. Sure, let's do that. Um, that wasn't perfect for here, was it? Undo, undo, give me <laughs> that tile. This would have been the, this would have been the, the blank side. Oh my God, I literally just put that one in and went, wait a second, that wouldn't have been perfect for that other spot where I've been waiting for the perfect tile that you just offered me. Would it? It was. Well, that's quite painful. <laughs> oh, God. And then we have this little nook in the water. Is there a way to work with this? Maybe. Oh, we got lots of field on this one. Okay, let's just build there. That's fine. Do we keep trying to get the water out of here? Or I think we just focus on one water would probably be ideal. That has rocks on it, that's cool. We gotta give ourselves opportunities to grow, right? So this one's almost great, but it's not quite. Does have a home on it, but too many homes, not enough blank. This fits, okay. This almost, again, 
has opportunities to fit. This needs a double tree. This needs the house on the other side. Otherwise, it would have been great. Um, a little bit of home, a little bit of tree. I think we just focus on cleaning that up. Just, you know, we have, we have an opportunity to grow. And as we get further and further out, there will be more and more opportunities uh, to find bigger missions that are just kind of lying out in the waste that you need to go and kind of find. Um, I don't hate this to try and get my rail extended. A home with some field and a blank. Uh, I mean, doesn't fit there. Okay, I mean this, again, making this tile harder and harder to get a perfect one, but eventually we might just have to settle. So far though, I don't think I've placed a single tile that um, wasn't good on every side, unless I did it mistakenly without realizing. I think we've been really good so far. Mm, just trying to see where we have homes where a field would be helpful. Obviously, this is really good, except for a couple of ways in which this would be fantastic if it wasn't for this, this river. We keep building out our city um, with a home on the edge. No, no wheat, so we're not going to do that there. Um, this actually works quite well. And this is mm, lots of great opportunities. This is the one that I was like, ah, maybe, but it, it's not quite. This also has the double trees, but the houses don't quite fit. Wouldn't be too bad here if it wasn't for, well, this, no, it's missing the field on the, the opposite side. Like, you can put tiles that aren't perfect. Like, you're allowed. It just makes it. Um, that will those tiles will never be able to be a perfect tile, right? Because they now have a flaw. Let's do that. Let's keep our keep our options open where they count, where they matter most. Um, there's no way to add this to the line without ruining some tiles. But it might be worth it just to complete those rail tracks. I mean, we're not in a rush. So I guess we don't have to. We could do something like this. Is there somewhere where homes and fields really need to interact? Yeah, sure, why not? I'm not sure that we'll ever connect those. Eventually we'll, we'll obviously want to, but for now, for now we're fine. Anyways, that's all I could do for this particular recording session. So hopefully I come back and just splice these. Uh, but this is it's just such a nice little game to pass some time. Sometimes you have a little bit of time. Take it. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao for now.